this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the finale of the Lunarian's Tale. Let's play Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. Let's head on to, to the inner depths. First things first, with these guys. Yeah, let's mini them, if I can. There we go. Shrink them down to size, just like you, Fusoya. Midget. In that middle doorway up there, by the way, there's nothing in there. So just uh, where you originally got Kane's Holy Lands. Yeah, there's nothing in there this time. So just move along. However, there is something in this door. Ribbons? No. Nah. No. Nah. I don't think you'd want to see Golbez in a ribbon. He's not into that sort of thing. Let's see. Mini the one, and Golbez can one shot everything else. I'm surprised Mini is working so effectively here. I was having trouble getting it to hit the last time. Not that we're going to need the Dryad Ethers, but they're there. Do we have any music going on here? Oh, barely. Whoa! Okay, now with these guys, let's just go with a good Quake spell, I think. Or we could actually attack them. Do it that way, too. Oh, you could use Bless. Ow. Ow! Wow, these guys will hit pretty hard. Ow! Wow, wow I, I might actually die. Um, hurry. There we go. Wow! I'm surprised they hit me that hard. Oh, good thing I got all those high potions. Come on, make it! Okay, we should be in the clear now. I don't think there's any more treasures here that we couldn't have gotten before. So... Just a straight shot to the end. No red dragons this time around, hopefully. Or behemoths. Uh, let's see. Good Firaga ought to do. Yeah. And hold the golem down, will you? I love how all the giant types have the same weakness. Hold. Seems kind of odd, but... Oh, there we go. It is a pretty big hole. Choke hole? No. no. Just an ordinary hole. You could use a little more HP there, Golbez. There we go. Uh-oh. It's five down, three to go. Can we make it in time? Oh, take a wild guess, viewers. Are we ever in time? I'm trying to remember in the original, were we ever in time for something? Well, we did make it in time for Fabul. It just didn't matter. Let's try going with a good bio spell. How about? Ow. Ow. Might not be a bad idea to just go with bio spells. Oops, I didn't want Fasoya to attack. I didn't think he would. Well, one more from Golbez ought to take this guy out. He is weak to Holy, but I, I mean, I'm Golbez. He's a man of darkness. He can't use Holy Elemental stuff. So, too bad. He could almost be as good as Cecil if he could. I mean, from the original Final Fantasy IV. Darkness Elemental stuff, not really as good. I think this is the only time in the After Years that we actually hear this song. It's a nice touch there. Okay, let's just go with uh, level 3 Elemental spell. I think that ought to be good. Just do this the fast way this time around. 
Especially since we got a healing point coming up. Ha ha! Wow, you can almost one-shot them, Fusoya. How is your... Wow, your intellect is a lot better than Golbez's. Huh. There we go. Not another one. Not another one. Crap. Wow, this is shattering uh, pretty dang fast. No breath or mind attacks this time around. Nah. Fortunately, the enemies are much easier this time around. And we can... Okay, not one-shot them, but we can two-shot them. Ah, no, don't, 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 don't. Okay, we're still good, we're still good. Whee! Wow, I'm just burning through those things. <laughs> well, we're gonna need our MP. Okay, take a wild guess. Is another crystal going to break again? Nuts. And we're burning through those crystals. Isn't the crystals, like, what's keeping the moon up? Just a thought. I hope so. Well, you're right next to them. You could pray to Kluya. I don't know how well he's doing at this point. Not so good. Oh! So I guess all the tales are kind of happening at the same time here. I was always wondering about the timeline. I thought this... This would have happened before the other tales. Revive the other crystals? Oh, yeah. I remember that. Didn't Fusoya already call for it, though? Well, we can take it now. That's fine. Yeah, we just keep this hidden spaceship deep beneath the ocean, and uh, no one's ever going to find it, so... Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were calling for the, the lunar whale, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Uh-oh. So, what does that mean? I mean, it's not like we have, uh, well, I mean, the moon's kind of not going to be able to sustain itself other than gravity. What do you mean by that? Nuts. Not again. Well, what's he gonna do? Boss time! Yeah, kick ass! Let's see, do I have any spider silks? No, I do not. So we're going to have to go with uh, Elemental Spell. So let's start with a good slow spell there. I might have Golbez do some healing while we're trying to get slow and haste up on everyone. The... Oh. Ow. Well, at least we got him slowed down. But, uh... 
Yeah, you might need to Kiraga yourself while I'm going all out like this. Don't worry about your MPE, you'll be fine. Eventually, I will want to ban, though. Maybe I should have used haste before. I'm just gonna mix up the uh, elemental spells that I'm using. Why not? Do I heal, or do I just go straight for the ban? Well, okay, we, uh, yeah, we go for the ban. Double Black Magic! Oh. We're gonna have to hurry up and heal if I can. Wow, look at that damage! Now, if I can get a Kiraga in time, that would be nice. Now, one thing that I really love about this battle in this version compared to the Nintendo Wii version is the moving background. Because in the original, uh, it was just a static background. You couldn't see, like, the stars or the sky or whatever moving around like that. So, But now in the PSP version, you can. So that's pretty nice. That's... Uh, Okay, let's go with uh, Dry Ether and Cura. Maybe using those buffs was not the best idea. Oh man, Golbez doesn't have enough to do two more black, double black magics. Oh, that's okay, we can take it, we can take it. This is not a scripted battle, by the way. You do have to win this one. Jeromus is just a lot weaker than he was before. Uh oh, or maybe not. Yeah, this is definitely one of many reasons why this is my favorite tale of them all. You get to fight Zeromus again. You get the battle music too with that and everything. So even though it is a pretty simple battle to win, but still, I like it. But what are you gonna do? Nuts. And we never see them again. No, actually, seriously, we don't. Uh, they never really resolve what happens between Fusoya and Zeromus. It's just kind of left open-ended like that. It's kind of odd that they would just leave it like that. But, well, okay, what, whatever works for you. Kind of like a uh, Scala and uh, the Mammon Machine sort of thing. But I didn't bring these five to with me on when I defeated Zeromus the first time. Well, we'll just assume we did. Aww. I guess Gobez is sleeping on his way back or something. Oh, now he's having good dreams, this time around, at least. What, no Fusro Da? What's going on here? You're supposed to throw him back to the wall with that thing. I do like how they handled that in the DS version of the game, but, well, I'll get to that version someday. Probably not in the near future, though. Uh-oh. It's not over yet. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Now, in this battle, you do have to win this one. 
Yeah, you remember this one. Yeah, that's how much damage it must have seemed like you were dealing to Golbez. But yeah, don't, uh, don't let yourself die here. Or it will be game over. Oh, sorry, I went through that a little quickly. You're not nearly as big as you were the last time. Or intimidating, for that matter. Well, you only gave it one HP, so yeah, pretty much. The mysterious girl! I, I mean, uh, Rydia! So, yeah, don't try to kill yourself in that battle or it won't end well for you. Uh-oh, another one. Oh, yeah. I don't know that you have to do anything in this one. Now he's having all of his nightmares again. I don't remember the others being in this battle, though. You spoony old man! You can't even hit me right with those... with your monocle. Your glasses. Crap. It's just fast forward through the spell animation. It was cool the first time, but like the twentieth time it's like okay, yeah, it's running a little long. <laughs> That's okay. So that's how the man in black made it back to the earth there. Huh. Well, there we go. Now we know. Show no mercy. Trying to think of a... Uh... A line from, uh, another line from Revenge of the Sith. I think I like the lightning effect that they had in the original Final Fantasy IV, but that's still pretty cool. Like in the Super Nintendo version of the game. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of skim through the dialogue since we've seen this before. Well, I suppose you have a lot to think about on your vacation trip back home. Well, yeah, this is your home. Now, this scene is originally from the DS version of the game. Which is pretty much what the After Years is really based on. But you can tell a lot with the dialogue during the flashbacks and stuff. How they're different from the Final Fantasy IV on this game. Or on this version. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? You're not going to tell us, are you? 
Boy, that sure is a long trip from the moon. Well, at least he's gone now, I think. What happened to all the other Enertrons? Well, I suppose we don't really need that many. Oh, yeah, we, uh, I want to keep on going back to Earth. It's getting smaller. Shouldn't the moon, like, I don't know, go somewhere else now that the crystals are gone? Which moon was that, anyway? I thought it was, you know, the Lemurian's moon, but there's two of them. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but we'll find out in the final tale of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Can we handle not one, but two challenge dungeons? Find out next time! Yeah, it's one really nice thing about this tale. We get two challenge dungeons. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!